All right, guys. Hi, it's Jared Gwines with Dallas Finish Toys here with the owner Sean, where he's going to tell us a little bit about the uh, Jawas. Mutini. Mutini. What, what are the? What do we got going on here? What, what? Okay, this is the regular 1977-78 Kenner uh, Jawa action figure. It originally came with the cloth cape. Okay. Well, it didn't originally come like that. Originally came with a vinyl cape. So this is the first run. And uh, came out in '78. Yeah. And you can tell he looks a little bit smaller. He's not as bulkier. And then people weren't buying as many of these. And I'll tell you the story how we got this one. But this is you can see he's a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier. Okay. And uh, the story about this, the guy's first job was working at uh, North Park One and Two in Dallas. That was like the number one theater to go to. And they would give away uh, action figures sent to them by Kenner. And uh, they just had leftover Kenner action figures because people weren't picking out the Jawa because they thought, I guess he looked a little bit lame or right. not as cool as the other figures. But that's one of the most expensive action figures now. So, and that's how. Now, how much is this one in the case here worth? In this condition, probably like around. $2,400. $2,400, okay. And, the, and he also had two other carded figures, two Death Squad commanders, and one of them, he actually ripped the corner out of it and wrote a girl's number on it back when he was 18. What an awesome at the decision. Theater. But he said he may have more, but I mean, that's what theaters used to do. They give away action figures so people would go see the movies and they go buy action figures, but this was a giveaway at a local theater here in Dallas, Texas. So this one's been uh, AFA rated 70. This is a vinyl Cape Jawa yep. from 1978. Yes. Uh, and it's worth about $2,400. Now, right here down next to it, also a 1978. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just kidding. It's in a case. Um, right here next to it, also 1978. Also Kenner, but not vinyl Cape. Right? Yeah, this is a cloth cape. Cloth cape, much more common variety, and worth about $6. Yeah, loose and complete Six like that. Um, Twelve back carded, depending on condition, maybe like two to three hundred bucks if it's graded. It's worth a little bit more. But it's not carded. This is just a little guy sitting yep. on the uh, the USS flag here. I'll put this next to our yak face and blicks in there. Oh right. Oh yeah. You like that, huh? Yak face and blicks. Most people watching don't even know what what you just said, but that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna have the little. We're gonna have the Jawa here on the carrier. Uh, the flag. And, uh, and since people have seen this and they're going to ask real quick, this has nothing to do with it, but what's the deal on the flag? Do you have one? Do you have pieces of one? Do you have most we of have one? We have the majority. Well, we could only fit the middle section. Right. Which, on, that's a, and that's a good part. It would anyway. be out right here to here. And as you see, this goes underneath the table. We even put the, I guess, underneath part. But we do have the majority of it. It's just not 100% complete. Okay. Of one. Of one. We got... Maybe 70, 80%. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. So, if you were wondering why you're watching the video, that's the deal with that. But anyways, <laughs> vinyl cape Jawa and uh, cloth cape Jawa, that's the difference. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe here to Dallas Finished Toys.